There we go. Off we go. Feels a better fish. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, yeah. A lot better fish. Yeah, boy. Welcome back. Welcome back to the beautiful, the bumpy, the sexy Shore Hunter YouTube channel. And he's joking. Welcome back to Chesil Beach, everyone. My name's Wayne, and it's an absolute privilege to be back on the home of the Shore Hunter YouTube channel here in Dorset. It's Chesil Beach. How you doing? There's the intro. Welcome back to my big lure. How you all doing? I'm doing fine, naturally. I'm out fishing. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing all right lately. We're getting out fishing lots. Yeah, it's good. Water. I'm good. I hope you're doing all right. Hope you're looking out for yourselves. I'm not sure what's going on with my YouTube channel like this. It's just doing shit. <laughs> it really is. I don't know what to do. I get out, I go fishing, I'm normal. I don't lie to you. I don't know. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. It's fine, it's not a job for me, it's a hobby. Thank God for that, because I don't actually make anything from it. In fact, it costs me hundreds, sometimes thousands, but it's my choice. So there you go, there's a little rant. Not a rant, I'll get off my soapbox. Let's get down. Welcome back, welcome back to Mecca for me. The best beach in the UK, in my humble opinion. It's like a different world in here. Yeah, again, sorry I look like a road man. I left my hoodie at home and my sunny, so I had to buy some in the garage. I don't really want reflector ones, so it might put you off, so sorry about that. Black lug, fresh, black lug, ready to go. Target species, bream, codlin, gurnard, rigs. What I'm gonna to do today is fish for bream, or this afternoon. So I've got my clear water bream rigs from the shorehunter.com. As you've seen recently, I've been absolutely bagging up since I bought these bream rigs out. I can't lie, I can't exaggerate it. You've been watching the videos. Everyone who has bought these have caught fish as well. So they're absolutely perfect. All they are is clip downs with little pop-ups, orange, yellow, 15 pound fluoro, work a treat. On my second rod, I'm gonna be using some loop rigs. I've also made my hook lengths with these clear water. As you can see, it's crystal clear today, which I'll show you in a bit. We are just at low water. High water this evening is nine o'clock, just on darkness, so it's absolutely perfect. So we've got about seven hours fishing. We're gonna fish up until it gets dark, then we're gonna get out of here. Right, rigs. Remember, if you buy rigs from me, to discard these little gold wraps. They're made of plastic and metal. Don't just throw them on the beach. I don't wrap all my rigs with plastic on purpose, so please don't chuck these on the floor. There we go. As I mentioned, it's quite rough out there. So I'm gonna be using seven ounce leads just to pin it to the deck. As we've done before on chisel, when it's bumpy, the waves hit the line, and if you're not careful, the line can get buried. I'm not gonna let that happen today. So I've got to constantly make sure I've got a bend in my tip. So I'm gonna be using a seven ounce gripper just to pin me to the deck. This is a two hook lip down with bling just to pop up for the bream. Black lug. Look at them. Perfecto. I'm just gonna use one for now and cut it in half. I need to make my bait streamlined to punch it against the wind. 
I've got 50 worms, so I should be all right. Bait needle, fine elastic. Could be a pain today, this weed. At points I might have to drop down to a single rod, but it's all right. It's Chaz away. A little bit naughty. There you go, look at that. Stop her. Yeah. Keep it all nice and compact. Lovely. There you go, there's one. Repeat the process. Last time I was out on my pop-ups, it was a complete pain in the ass because of mackerel. So Gemma's just... <laughs> yeah, now I'm filming myself, but you almost killed me. <laughs> Gemma just had a finger slip or a thumb slip or whatever she's doing. And it landed in front of my rods and she just shouted saying, are you filming that? Yeah, last time the mackerel kept eating my pop-ups. Well, it's quite nice catching mackerel, but not when you're brain fishing, eh? For people asking, the mackerel have turned up in style. And there we go. Look at that. Right, let's get it on the rods. Let's get you on the rods, eh? That weed is growing by the minute. There's big rafts of it coming along. It's all right. I'm a little bit worried because last time I couldn't fish. It's not so bad as that. I'll get through it. Last time it was all the way out. So you couldn't really cast far in close. It was just an absolute nightmare. Come on, fishies. On the other rig, I'm going to be fishing really for cod. I've got a loop rig, not popped up, no bling, hoping for a codling. I've got fresh flats, which as you know are the best bait. Ooh. Oh, it's gone around the rod. Ooh. Oh yeah. Wallop, let's go. A Gemma, felt in it. I'm not going to ping this one. I'm going to flop it out there first cast. It's very breamy, honestly. If I had to pick conditions to catch a bream here on Chesil, it would be this. There we go. Hopefully we get a bit of tide to pin it to the deck. The bream will love it. It's just whether this weed's going to be a right pain in the ass, you know? And there we are. We're fishing. Ugh. Quite a big tide. Building tides. I shouldn't really say this, but everything is absolutely perfect. I've got perfect bait, perfect conditions. 
I've got great rigs. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like it's raining behind us. It's not meant to. What was I saying about perfect conditions? Oh well. I've not got a coat. It'd be alright, wouldn't it? What could go wrong? Come on. This one's for a cod, mate. It looks a bit coddy. We've got black lug on both. Small bait on the top and a whole black on the bottom. Oh, nice and compact. So I can punch it against the wind. And there we are, look at that. Let's get it out there. The tide's pulling from left to right. So I'm going to walk down a bit. Check the reel. Wind's a bit of a shit bag. There he is. Oh. Put that a little bit further. Just trying to punch it through the wind. What do we have? Go away. Go away, will you? Good morning, everyone. Morning? Yeah, morning. No, it isn't morning, is what, it? <laughs> what time is it, Gemma? Three o'clock. Yeah. Up to be fair, I slept in a camper van all night on a yeah. windy campsite at the top of a cliff. Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. With your head down instead of up. Wrong, isn't it? Totally wrong. I know, yeah. That's the number one rule of camping. Have need... the, uh, the head end at the high end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you might be a bit dopey -er today. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I was going to forget what's my excuse that is. You're a doctor, you're not dopey. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm really lucky I've got some of your rigs today, haven't I? I know, yeah, you have. Sure, yeah. Hunter Bream rigs, and you never guess what? I've just lost a Bream right at the edge. On first cast? Second cast. So, first cast, I had a bite. Yeah. Uh, pulled my lead out, half the bait gone. Second chuck, another whacking bite, definitely a Bream. Got it in, it was like just at the edge of the water, coming up the bank and got off the hook. And I wasn't going to walk down there to get it because it's not worth risking. No, it's good actually, yeah. A lot of people sometimes, it was a nice little bring, like yeah. little kind of. A lot of people would have put the rod down and ran down, but you actually, you let yeah. it just bounce back and exactly. go in. I was going to put it back anyway, so that way it got its freedom, but it didn't get to say hello on camera, but I know. Yeah, off it swam. Is it raining? I don't know, but I think it's going to. You got any waterproofs? Yeah, have you? No. <laughs> you, you've got a bigger shelter than me, though. Look at me. I said to everyone, I forgot my hoodie. Look at me. I look like I'm, I don't know, I you look like, like a you're bug. In the, uh, Costa del Sol or something. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sorry you about that. You've got a me. nice suntan, you've got shorts on. It's like a mufty day. <laughs> but yeah, we're all right. We're going to fish. I was saying to everyone, it's just gone low. Yeah. We've got it perfect. Um, perfect conditions, perfect bait. Fantastic rigs. No. Oh, they are awesome. Well, it's no. done the trick, isn't it? Bream yeah. rig, catch a bream. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, we've got everything on our side. We've got a chance of a nice bream. If we're lucky, a trigger fish, but we've not seen one for 18 months here for some reason. They didn't come last year. And we've got a chance of a cod. Yeah, and I'm hoping maybe a bass with this bit of chop, but you know this mark better than I do. But I certainly had, when I've caught bass on Chesil, it's been conditions like this, maybe a little bit choppier. Yeah, they love plug as well. Yeah. But you're here for bream, aren't you, really? Big yeah, bream? I, def I really want to catch some decent bream. Back, back down Brighton, I've been getting them in the 25s, uh, 25 centimetre range. So not a little bit small. Not yeah, 20. no, not pound. Yeah, like this yeah. Um, So it'd be nice to get some that were eating size. Not that I'm going to take them back anyway, but just a bit more sport, really. Yeah. Yeah. So people can watch you on YouTube. 
Yeah, that's it. That's the plan. So wash. You can. I've, I told everyone you clip bait, Gemma, but you can. Yeah. Let go on. Have a free hit. A go free on. hit. Thanks. Yeah, go on then. Um, so yeah, let's plug the channel. So um, my handle on YouTube is Quick Bait Gem, uh, but I'm, my name is down as Gem Stapleton. So if you search for that, you should find me. There's a few Norway videos from the recent trip we had out there together. Yeah. Uh, was it a couple of weeks back? Um, or probably more than that now. My brain is kind of in some funny space because I've been travelling so much. Um, but yeah, there's a few videos up there, quite a few from Brighton area, Sussex Coast. Yeah. So people in that area particularly might find them interesting. Um, or maybe not, who knows? Well, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, you, the good thing with you, like me, you're just yourself. Yeah. And that's all you can do. If people like you, they do. And if people don't, then... Then they don't. Yeah, yeah it's good. It's like normal life. That's what I say to people on my channel. Because sometimes people put a comment but you've got to be naive or fully yourself to think that everyone's going to like what yeah. you do. Nobody's going to do that. I think for me as well, being an academic, I'm very used to criticism and feedback from people. So I know that everyone has different views, different opinions. Yeah, it's good. I like it. different stuff. Yeah, sometimes you, you get a comment and you think, actually, they're probably right. And then other times you're like, yeah, it's just a dick. <laughs> but that's life, isn't it? But that's good, though. It keeps you on your toes and it keeps you trying hard. But yeah. no. That's the good side of YouTube, though. <laughs> We're very lucky. We're on Chesil Beach. We've got a whole afternoon stroke evening. Yeah. Up till darkness. We're going to fish it all the way up to high water, which is half an hour from darkness, which is... It's perfect. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. We've got a chance all the way from low up. So if a fish come through, we're going to have states of tide where we get pull. Like now we've got a little bit, then it's going to yeah. slacken off. And then about two hours before high, it should pull like a train. And if we're going to get a cod, you reckon it'll be them? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, my nemesis, but you know, I'm always trying to catch one. Yeah, let's <laughs> get a summer cod. It's August. Yeah. Soon be winter. Yeah. Hopefully. That's it. Well, I don't know, but, but I had... The only time I've had cod down here was October a couple of years back. Um, and I've tried, but that was it. One trip, I had six codling, which was nice. So maybe, maybe I'll get one this time. You never know. You have had a big one before though, haven't you? What, cod? Yeah, you had a big... Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, the best I had off the beach was £10.10. Yeah, you had a £10.10 10 cod, yeah. this one. On a random beach as well, didn't you? But it was down Shoreham, yeah. Shoreham like, Arm. On well, a size 2 Camazan. And I'm really in thinking, is it going to come off before I get it in? That's massive cod. Yeah. That's Not the bad. first one I had off the beach as well. Not bad for a girl. Not bad. <laughs> Little girly girl. Girls fishing. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. We'd have it, eh? Yeah. We'd have it. Anyway. We're going to keep fishing, we'll keep trying. If we get any fish between us, we'll get the camera on. I'm going to jump in on yours now and yeah. again. I don't know if you want me looking like this. Well, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> you could have dressed up, couldn't you? <laughs> you look smart with your Shaw Hunter I've got, cap on. Yeah, I've got, so I've got a nice cap. Um, but yeah, you're going to jump in. Hopefully we can get some fish. Keep smiling, have fun. Yeah. And hopefully we can make us both good videos. Fingers crossed, eh? Anyway, cheers, everyone. Thanks, Jem. Cheers. If you watch your left-hand one, I've got some weed on that. The weed's coming through again. It's an absolute freaking nightmare. The Bremer there, though. Gemma's had three already. The big raft come through. This is gonna be shit, this is. Oh. Stinks as well. Look at this, like a washing line. It's a nightmare this year. Got so much weed. I wouldn't even know if I've got a fish on. Well, I've got to put this down in a minute and get that off. Ah! Completely all the way down. The weeds are playing in the ass today. That should be all right, though. And it's raining. Well, that's a shit start. Loads of weed, but we'll be all right. 
it's only every now and again, so it's never simple, you know, it's never easy. Pop this one out, shall we? Flat leg on both again. So what I'm going to do is fish a black leg. I got 50. When I run out, I'm going to catch a mackerel on my lures. It'd be right. Pop it out there. A lot belt in this one. So a little tip for you, yeah? When it's really windy, look lower. You gotta punch it through the wind. No point casting high today. Seven ounce grippers. There we go. Weed everywhere. Weed, weed, weed. Just changing the bait. I don't think I've got one on. I may have a little one hanging on, but I think it's just weed. And it's just weed. Oh well. Nice to get out a little bit further in the wind. Uh. Yeah, it's bumpy out there. There's a buoy there, a broken away buoy. In someone's pot. Oh, I've got a little bit of a slack line on the left one. I got two hooks. That's what we say. Double shots. That's what we need. Well, we need a fish right now, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Gemma's had a couple. Anyway, yeah, you're bored me that. Anyway, I'll just yawn away. I'll keep fishing, I'm going to bait up my spare rig, keep on top of it, keep the baits going in, and eventually we will be rewarded. A bit quiet. Not gonna lie. Just thought I'd bring you back for a bit of live fishing. Gemma's into a fish. I think so. More bream at that end. The thing with bream fishing, oh, Gemma's caught the boy.
might need to go and help her. I believe she's caught that boy that's broke away. Anyway, I'll go and help. What was I saying earlier about the perfect conditions? It's horrible. Well, and there we are. We're not blanking. There's a little wing, a little weemy wing. There you go. I'm on the fish, I'm out fishing, and guess what? <laughs> I'm catching fish. Go me. Cheers, everyone. Let's try and hit this a little bit further, yeah? A little bit of a grunt then, like a tennis player. Ah. Oh. I'm like the Sharapova of the fishing world. Ah. 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 Look at that, it looks super fishy. Any minute now, we're gonna be on it. The fish are not here yet. What's Gemma doing? She into a fish? No, she's casting out. So what's happening now is Gemma's had five brains in about an hour and I've had none. So this is when you've got to react. Gemma's just plopping it out there like I normally tell you. 30 yards, I've been trying to hit it. So what I'm gonna do now, drop one in nice and short. Yeah, the fish are in close. Madness, I know this. You know I know this, you know it, because I talk about it. And I've been trying to punch it through that wind. As you know, I don't cast a million miles, but I've been hitting it too far. Gemma's bagging, she's just had one, I don't know, pound and a half maybe, nice fish. She's getting double shots and I can't get a bite. So let's change, let's adapt, eh? So what I'm gonna do now is just plop this in there. Little gentle flick in the surf. There you go. That's better. Could be bassy in there. Remember what I said about adapting. If I keep hitting it long all the time and I'm not getting any fish, it's pointless. This could be a little bit too close. I might get bounced out, but. I'm just baiting up, and if you watch the first rod on the left, I've got a bring bite. Gemma's having a break. She's taking the piss here. She's saying she's too tired to catch anymore. Yeah, had a bite. Come on, you frigger. The weed is a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. There you go, there you go, as a fisher. Yep, we got them this time. Finally. So this was medium range. I've been in short, long. Gemma said she's casting about 60 yards, so I've just literally plopped it out there and boom. This is the thing with bring. You either got them or you haven't. Same on the boat. They're insane. They shoal up together. You can be five foot off and not get one. A little one, this one. It's 
Oh, it's just popped off. <laughs> then he swore then. Just typical. <laughs> I've never tried so hard for a little bream. Well, not a little one, a bream. I'm just baiting the second rod. Look at the first one. I've just switched it up now to bream rigs. I've been fishing for cod. As you can see, Gemma's been fishing for bream. Sometimes I've... There's a fish on here and I can't do anything about it. Cool. So what I've been doing is fishing for cod on one and bream on the other. It's a better fish. It's a lot better fish. I might have double shot here. So as you've seen, I've been fishing for cod on one. And not bream. What I've decided to do now is fish bream on both. I'm going to catch her up, you see. I'm not competitive at all with fishing. Just be nice to catch a few fish for you guys. Here we go. What have we got? Feels a better fish. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, yeah. A lot better fish. And there we are, everyone. Look at that. That's a black one. That's a decent fish. And there we are. We're back in the game. Let's keep going. I'll put him in the bucket. I'll get a rig out and I'll show you him in the shelter. How amazing. So my other rigs I've been using are loop rigs with the same fluorocarbon hook length, but they've got no pop-ups. And I've not had a bite on them. Gemma's had 16 bream to my one using these pop-up rigs. So what I'm going to do now is fish hard. Using bream rigs, sod the cod. I don't know what's happened. I've not caught one yet this summer. Right, let's get it out there. They're all at the same range. Now I'm just going to fish for green. I've got two and a bit hours till darkness. Let's catch her up, yeah? It's only a bit of fun. I'm not really competitive with my pleasure fishing. I just love seeing people catch. But for a bit of fun, see if I can catch her up. There's weed everywhere there. But should be a bream. Wish me luck, eh? And there we are, look at the size of that monkey. A chunky monkey, just like me. But there you go, that is a beautiful black bream here on the mighty Chesil Beach. Oh, I got a bite. Anyway, yep, we got one on. Oh. Shit. Oh. Look at that, the left one's slack. That's the one I've just put out. Oh my God. They love it. Ooh. It's carnage. That slammed over. There we go. We're on the fish now. Oh yeah. That's another good one. It's bite time. We've got the range, haven't we? Just a change of rigs. Got a bite on that one as well. I've got a bring rig on both now. This isn't massive compared to the first one, but... Well, not the first one, that one there. We're in the surf. And there we are. Yeah. Come on then. There we are. On the bring rig. Let's go. Right. Only 12 more to go. <laughs> and there you go, everyone. There's another beautiful bream here on the mighty Chesil Beach on that pop up look. Let's get him away. I've got a bite on both look. Madness. This one's gone slack. I was just changing the battery in my camera. If I miss that, I'll be gutted.
There you go. Is that? <laughs> Fish off. Yeah, I was just changing the battery on my camera. Looked up and they were both going. Insane. The weeds are right pain now, mate. Oh. I've got weed everywhere, but I've got fish on as well. There we go. And there we are. I'll have a bream. Oh, lovely. On the bream rift. Oh. Get this one straight away. But yeah. There you go, let everyone. On the bream rig. Absolutely nailed. Put it in the bucket for a minute. Give it a breather. Get it back. The one on there? There was. And there we are. Just like that. Cheers, everyone. Woo! In the bucket. As you can see, the weed is a right pain in the ass. It's killed the fishing. Because the fishing's, well, fishing well. And now this has turned up. And now the wind's getting back up again. That's been out there two minutes. Look at the bait, it's not even touched. It's becoming unfishable again. The thing is with it, there's only so much weed you can keep pulling off before it gets on your tits, you know? So what I might do is give it one more cast on each rod and call it a day. I've not spoke to Gem yet, but it should be fine with that. It's just unfishable. It literally, you cast out, it just pulls straight round. Yeah, so I've noticed Gemma is quite tired. I've just gone over, had a chat. She's had enough. So what I'm gonna do is slowly pack up. It's pretty much unfishable. Those rods are pulled right round in the weed and it's time for us to go. So as you know, my name's Wayne. It's an absolute privilege to be out on this beautiful beach here in Dorset. We came out bream fishing and we caught a load of bream. I think we've probably had 25, maybe 30 bream between us all on the Shore Hunter Bream Wig. So look, I'm off. See you later, everyone. I just said bream as well instead of bream. Woohoo! What's wrong with me? I'm tired. Gemma's knackered. Let's go. Thanks, everyone. See you later, and I'll see you somewhere else very soon.